How's it? Today's Monday, January 1st. It is the first of the year. And that means everything I do today is a 2024 PR, including me almost tripping there. Um, yeah, time perspective is a weird thing. I think t- typically around this time, this is when people make big declarations for resolutions and try to turn their life around. But I've never been that type of person. I've always been the type of person to make the change that needs to happen now. And so, you know, this is, I don't even know, my fifth week, fourth week of doing this this sort of program. And the goal is still the same. You know, I'm still trying to make it to 115, 150. I am super far from that right now. I think that I'm trying to, I mean, it's still, that's still a big goal. I mean, the smaller goals for me right now are to get my shoulder right, which has been a big talking point for the last two months. Make sure my lower back is okay, which has been a big talking point for the last four months. You know, all of these things are are not new to me and I'm, just trying my best to continuously uh, push towards that that goal that I've had. So, you know, resolutions are useful in some instances, but for me, it's it's not um, something that I I really think about. Today was a difficult day. It was very long. So snatch, push, press, plus overhead squat as my first movement. And we're doing this compounding volume thing. So what is it, four weeks ago, 100 was my top set. And so I'm going to use that as my, as one of my warmups, you know, the week after that was 103, the week after that was 106. And this week is the week after 106. So that's 109. So I'm trying my best to keep all of the sets in there. And they're all meaningful sets, you know, typically, you you, my thing about your warmup sets as your second to last warm up might be the only meaningful one. But at 100 you know it's challenging oh i just that bar just landed on my neck um but yeah it's challenging already starting at 100 so every single set after that is meaningful so it's basically like i did four top sets that just get incrementally harder and i'm very happy that i was able to make it through all of them i mean i don't know what my personal best is three plus one but I imagine 110 is pretty close to it. So 109 is is not 110, but it, it's <laughs> it's still close to it. This is my set at 109. And for what it's worth, you know, my shoulder isn't giving me the issues that I had anticipated it would. Like the reason why this lift or this set or these these weights are are hard is not due to my shoulder. It's more so everything else. Where it's like if. If I don't have the proper leg drive, like even this overhead squat is challenging, you know, Uh, my overhead stability is not where it used to be. And I think that that is a function of my shoulder being the way it is, but everything else is like just hard. I I don't know how else to say it. Um, So I'm pretty happy that I did 109, no no misses on that. After that, I planned to do the power snatch plus hang power snatch. So like one plus threes up to 79 for three sets of 79 but same idea with the compounding volume where i would start with like my last couple warm-ups would be 70 73 and then 76 but at like 60 i was like yo this has been a long ass training session and i don't know if i'm going to even be able to do one set at 79 so i made an audible i called an audible i did an audible yeah I, I changed it to just do one single top set um, at 79. And I'm happy that I did that because it was challenging. I wasn't able to power snatch all of my hang powers on that one. And like even the set before that, 76, I did not <laughs> I did not make one of the reps. It was kind of a fail. I, I, would, I would call that a fail, but I don't want to say that I've already failed on the first day of the year that that um mentally would would be uh a mental exercise but here is 70 right so similar to the overhead stuff um 70 was the first weight that i did four weeks ago and 73 76 79 yeah i don't need to go over it again i think at this point in the training session i am just 
really just trying to get through the reps. And at this point, it's becoming less quality and more just determination to execute. Like to not not necessarily execute, but like to to actually move through the the range of motion, you know, move through the checkpoints, not not meaningfully move through the checkpoints. Just do it to do it, you know. Not do it to do it well. Um so I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this next week for um anything heavier than this. Which I think is a good sign. That's the miss there. But not a miss, right? Quote unquote. Here's my top set. Seventy nine. I think for me, there are a couple reps on the warm up where I'm definitely not over the bar. I'm behind the bar towards the start and then the rest of the lifts just don't really line up the way that they should. Uh, you'll see this here. This is going to be a definitely not a power, but it's also not a full snatch. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it is what it is. You know, 79 is pretty heavy for me. That's to do like four reps of a power. I think, I don't know if I'll be able to even do four reps at uh, 79 from the ground where I get to like reset over and over, you know? But um, after that, moved into my pulls here, snatch pull, plus slowly snatch pull. Try my best not to really um, get on my toes. I've said this, I think, almost every time I do these, but I don't know. If it's your first time watching this, then this would make sense as to as an explanation as to why I'm lifting this way. I think that... Um, Getting to plantar flexion, basically like getting on the toes like a calf raise, is probably the easiest part of the lift. And typically what happens is if you get to the on your toes before your your knees get straightened, your knees will never get straightened. And the amount of force that you can put out through the quad and uh, I guess positional um, advantages that you get from pushing your leg straight are so much more than getting on your toes. And so I'm just trying to practice that more and more and more with heavier weights. Some of these were good, some of these were not good. Um, that was a long training session. But after that, I finished off with some pull-ups, just did the one set and then some pal-off presses, another just one setter. But yeah, today today was good. I, I think that I feel, I feel like I've accomplished something today. You know, everything I did today is a 2024 PR. So we'll move forward to thinking about that, you know. Tomorrow's going to be a 2024 PR and the next day after that and the day after that. And and uh, we'll just try to keep the momentum rolling. Um, very happy and thankful to be here. Um, I, I've got um, a lot of growing to do this year, so I'm ready for it. hope you are too. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Shoots.